everybody, Intuitive Edge here. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our month ahead for September. Now, I'm sorry I'm a couple days late getting this out. Uh, I had some things I had to take care of, uh, but here I am, ready to go. What's going on for September? Now, uh, so I wrote out a spread, laid some cards out, and I've been looking at them, and honestly, you know, this is going to be an interesting month. I will say that. Um, this is this is kind of bizarre because what we see in the news, and you all have probably seen the news about all of the chaos that's going on, all of the oppression, the crackdowns, the revolt, the protests, the everybody is at each other's throats and there's fighting and control mayhem going on everywhere. Okay, that's what we see. That's what we see happening. And that is not what I see in the cards for September. And I'm a little puzzled by this. Um, I mean, I, I put out a whole bunch of, I put out nine cards, eight cards, eight cards. And the story that I see here is very different from the chaos that we're seeing playing out. So let me just, I'll just walk you through it and tell you what I've got. And we'll see, we'll see what's coming up. This is kind of strange to me. Okay, now. So in the news this month, we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out on this. This is a card of new beginnings. Something, this is actually a very positive card. And I put these two cards at the top of the spread. This is kind of how I was guided to lay the cards out. The next card out is what we need to know. So what's going to be in the news and what do we need to know? We have the wish card. Your wish being granted. So what this tells me is something something good is coming that's going to make a lot of people happy. Now, okay, yeah, all right. You're probably going, yeah, that's really not what I'm seeing. You know, there's people being forced to do things they don't want to do. Um, there's mayhem, fighting, infighting, all kinds of stuff going on. There's flooding, natural disasters, what's going on? And something good is coming that's going to make a lot of people happy. Okay, all right. Let's keep going here. Uh, next card is the truth. What keeps us connected and grounded in a positive way? And I've got the sword of truth on this card. The card of truth on the question of what is the truth? <laughs> so to me, this ace of swords is a very strong card. It's a card of victory. It's a card of mental sharpness, staying true to your convictions staying true to the truth. Uh, it's a card of protection. It's a card of strong moving forward. So that's going to keep us grounded and connected, knowing that the truth is going to prevail. Okay, well, this is turning out interesting for September. Okay, the next card, uh, let's see what the question is. What is leaving? Okay, this card is, when I saw this, it's like the wait is over. This is a card of kind of waiting, biding your time, looking for the right moment, and having to kind of just wait until things settle out or things figure themselves out. This is like the wait being over Perhaps that has to do with the truth because it's this card's looking right back at the truth card. Perhaps the wait is over and the truth is coming out. And maybe that leads into this happy card and this wish card being granted on something good coming. Now guys, I don't I don't want to just blow smoke <laughs> and just say things to make people happy, okay? I don't want to be like doom and gloom either. I try to strike a balance. 
somewhere in the middle. I don't want to be all doom and gloom and, you know, blood in the streets. I'll tell you, I'll tell it like I see it. If that's what I see, I'll tell you that. But, you know, I don't, I don't like being the bearer of bad news and I don't like to just give out hopium either. But this looks really good, <laughs> okay? I just, I just gotta say that. Um, number five, what is just ahead, our immediate future? This is on the other side of this nine. Now, before I go there, speaking of this, we have ace nine, ace nine, nine. Ones and nines. Nines are very significant. I got three of them and they're stacked in the middle of this spread. Three nines. Nines are about completion. So I think something is completed. It's wrapping up. It's done. It's over. It's moving into a new phase. Because 10 is like the rebirth of something new and then we start back at the one again. Um, now, okay, so what is just ahead? Immediate future, this nine. This nine, card of abundance, card of favor, card of success, viability, life, luxury. I mean, we certainly don't see much of that right now with everything going on. Especially what's happened this last month in Afghanistan and other places. So to have that card on what's just ahead, and this is like coming back to a place of fruition and fulfillment. Okay. All right, next card, the hope. What is the help or the hope that we have? And we have the very grounded and centered Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles brings an element of care, nurture, grace. She has the ability to aid in the pursuit of goals. And she has a focus on what's important. She helps us focus on that. And to see that in the position of the hope that we have, the help, this is about focusing on what's important and caring for the people around you. And maybe she helps us narrow down our perspective and gain a, gr a, a larger, wider, broader perspective in our lives and in general. So that's the energy, is broadening our perspective, caring for others. So the lesson we have coming up this month is the Two of Pentacles. This is a card about weighing your options, making decisions, making choices. And as I was focusing in on this card, it's like seeing those ships on the waves in the background. It's like the, there's a choice to be one of those ships that is just lost at sea or adrift, or the choice to stand on solid ground. And I think that that's going to become more clear this month, the choices that we make and how they affect us, whether we are swayed by what's happening in the culture, or whether we'll be making choices that are in alignment with our higher good, our greater good. And I think that choice, again, is going to become more clear. Are we going to be making choices based on fear or based on what other people say or what other people want? Or are our choices going to be made based on our own innate wisdom and what will put us on solid ground? So we'll see how that plays out this month in terms of the lesson that we're gonna be learning. Okay, and next, the last card is the outcome for this month. We've got the High Priestess, the card of wisdom, the card of inner wisdom, going within, seeking truth, seeking the hidden realms, intuition, things that are unseen, that are behind the scenes, coming out into the open. This is going to be this is going to be the truth for this month, is 
hidden truths coming to light, inner wisdom being expressed. I mean, honestly, out of all of these eight cards, I can't see any that are particularly bothersome or challenging. We've got really good positive cards on this month. And I have to say, I'm quite shocked because I know there's, there's a lot playing out and a lot happening around the world. And things are not settled. There's going to be, I'm sure, people who are struggling with different issues geographically depending on where they're at and I'm just saying there's something good coming maybe this month is about just standing and holding that vision that high watch for the good to be realized I, I just I don't see it playing out terribly bad this month um, and then underneath we've got the King of Pentacles. Now, that's a card of, well, depending, he's upright, thank goodness. But the negative aspects of this card, if there is any, is greed, corruption, and all of that. And this is the underneath everything. And it's a powerful leader that could be motivated by greed and corruption if if that gets the upper hand. And maybe that's what's all coming out this month. Maybe it's coming to light. Maybe that's what's being handed out is the exposure and the inner wisdom that we're finally seeing it, the exposure of the corruption. We could be seeing that on a major scale. As I tuned into the energies of the month at the beginning, before I laid the cards out, I did see something to do with military exercises, and I think this is going to be on the East Coast. Um, particularly, I th think what I was seeing was a, like an army personnel and a helicopter. What I was seeing was was like being in a helicopter. I could I could see his this uh, the helicopter pilot's face. And it looked like military. And he was on some type of mission going somewhere. And then I, in my mind, I was looking out at what he was looking at. And I could see down below, I could see like rivers and a lot of water. A lot of water. And I don't, it was green too. Like a lot of green landscape, green trees. But then a lot of water too. I think it's on the coast, the east coast of the United States is where I was seeing this. And so there may be some type of military exercise, something going on. Um, and I did hear the word revolt when I was tuning into things also. And I also saw in my mind something about a crowd, a lot of pushing and shoving. That could be just about anywhere, but I saw... I saw like a like a brawl or a fight going on with with just kind of chaos. So there could be some more protests maybe going on through September and maybe some some protests get out of hand. Um, this particular one felt like there could be I mean I was just seeing like kind of chaos and mayhem as people are pushing and shoving and fighting and you know I could see like a woman with her purse trying to pull away and bash somebody. <laughs> it's just what I was seeing. So there could be some of that still. Even even though the cards, the energies of the cards, I see things turning around a little bit from where we've been. But I think the residual of what's been happening is still going to play out. We're still going to see skirmishes and things developing through through this awakening process that we've been in, that humanity's been in, I think these energies are still volatile, but there is something shifting. There is something. So hold that intention that the energy that we've been dealing with, with all the chaos and all of what we've been seeing is giving way to a softer, kinder, gentler, happier energy coming through. 
I do think it's possible the cards this month indicate that could be so. So hold on to the hope, hold on to the high watch, and let's, let's just bring this into manifestation together. Let's visualize this together, that we are creating a better world. We don't have to go down this dark path that we're being steered onto, okay? We can still choose to make better choices, like that choice card. Do we wanna be back here tossed and turned on the sea? Do we wanna be on solid ground? and making our own determination for our own future. So that's our lesson this month. And uh, we'll have to see how things play out. But I do see a shift happening. Um, again, we'll just have to see, okay? <laughs> we'll have to see. Kind of surprised me. Generally, I look at this and I'm like, you know, we got a lot coming up this month. And this month I'm looking at the cards going, Wow, these are nice cards. What do I do with this? <laughs> All right, guys. Take care, everybody. We'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Stay safe out there. Bye for now.